It's too dark to see anything. Okay, fine, I have a light. So this is a puzzle. Sides on a cube. So that would be, um, 7 minus 2 minus 1? I think so. Is that math? That's math. Uh-oh, okay. Um, seasons in a year. 5 minus 1. I can do that. Okay, spider's legs are 10 minus 3 minus 4. What? Spiders have eight legs! That math doesn't add up! Anyway, it's a very clever puzzle made by our father that only an Earthling would know about. This is it! Now we just have to get the plant to bloom. And by we, he means, well, me. This is a rather long, complicated puzzle. It's not too complicated, it's not the worst, but it's made difficult because the hint button doesn't work. So you have to do this 100% on your own. Ooh, okay, okay. something rather than just a, a fancy design. Yes. That looks good. Yeah, okay, so this this is where things get super difficult. Now, even if you uh, are using the guide here, it's not very helpful. Okay, looks like we have snakes here, eyes and eyes. Snakes go like that. We have eyes and eyes. Oh! Okay, never mind. Maybe the guide is incredibly helpful. this perfectly perfectly there we go okay so <clears throat> one is pink two is orange three is yellow so I'm working from the inside out four is green five is white Red. Five is red. Whoops. Okay, we open the spore. Now we can go back home. Back to Earth. It's time to go home, Ellie. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Look out! Whoa! That's an arrow. Stay where you are, Outlanders. That portal is on my land and belongs to me. Oh no, not the evil queen. You're never going through that portal, my queen. You know nothing but battle and conquest. You don't deserve to go to the land of Earth, but I do. Gustav shot the queen? Okay. So, Gustav is the secret villain of the game! Ha! That double-crossing snake shot me! He won't get away with this. <laughs> Ellie! We have to stop Gustav from using the portal. Use the bow and arrow to buy me some time to get to Gustav. Let's do this! Let's do this! Okay! We're sitting ducks here. Ellie, shoot those rocks on the ceiling to give us cover. 
So here what you really want to do is just hold down the mouse button. That will make it go slower and slower. And you want to release the mouse button when you're in the green zone. Great! Now shoot the scores to smoke Gustav out. Extra layer of difficulty here. You need to shoot the spores when they're open. You got him! Shoot the gun off his hand. Don't hurt him, Ellie. You're a fool, Ellie. Just like your father. He's alive, and I can tell you where he is. If you let me go through that portal. No, no don't trust him! Oh man, so dramatic. Get out of here, Ellie! Use the portal! Go! The portal went haywire. There was nothing we could do. Just when I found out my father was alive, and somewhere on Botanica, just when I didn't want to leave, the portal swallowed us whole and took us somewhere I didn't expect. But I can tell you one thing. It wasn't home. It was an alien planet called Sequel Fodder. Yeah, there's a sequel to this game, and, um, well, you'll have to play the sequel to find out what happens, um, to our heroes next. I suppose if this walkthrough is very popular, I could play the sequel. Might as well, you know, it seems like a fun game, very interesting. And, of course, this is not the entire game we have in Epilogue. So let's play the fancy epilogue. It's all about Sam. Let me start from the beginning. My name is Sam. I was flying with my dragonfly, Eddie, trying to find my friends, Ian and Ellie. There was some kind of trouble in the capital. Soldiers were running everywhere. I tried to fly away, but it was too late. They saw me. I thought I was done for. Oh, oh, poor Eddie. But then I found the one person who could help me get home. Yeah, so this is what happened to Eddie during all that excitement with the Queen and Gustav. Or not Eddie, this is what happened to Sam and Eddie. Looks like they crash-landed and had a really, really, really hard time getting back home. Now you might not remember, we have these floating islands. This is where we are. We landed at the floating islands. We need to find some sort of way to get back to New Song Village. What the? A Z-Bath? What? It's a scary looking monster there. Ooh, and tiger fruit. We're gonna be collecting some fruit for uh, Eddie, Eddie the... Um, Dragonfly creature. Ooh, and this is a somewhat difficult hidden objects challenge because what you need to do is click on the flowers to make them grow smaller so you can find the items you're looking for. Alright. So, for example, I think I shrink those to find shears. Where are the shears? There we go. And I need to find some marbles. Let's use a hint for the final marble. Alrighty, got some shears, and uh, let's see, I need to cut these all in the proper order. Otherwise... Otherwise, that happens. You get you get told off for not cutting things right. Oh, come on. Which one is the one I need to cut first? I don't know. Hmm, let's... There we go. I, I could have sworn I clicked that one like five times. Yes, and... 
another piece of fruit, and a tiny key. Hooray! Tiny key goes here. Oh good, I got some items. Now I can climb the Zebraff. 